Hello everyone, welcome to Rasayan Academy and guys this is our 31st video on the name reaction series and in this video we are going to talk about the Chugev elimination reaction. Now it is also very popularly called the Xanthate elimination alright and also sometimes called the Synpyrolytic elimination. Alright so all of these are the uh, names of the same uh, reaction. Synpyrolytic elimination now this is a category of reactions because there are a lot of reaction in the synpyrolytic elimination uh, you know category there is cope elimination there is xanthate elimination there is acetate pyrolysis okay so chugev elimination is one of those reactions undergoing the synpyrolytic elimination okay so what am i talking about let's see now Chugev elimination is a very very simple reaction and here, here we are going to talk about it along with a previous year question of the CSI net exam. Okay, alright. So thermal elimination of xanthates to olefins is the Chugev elimination. Very easy to understand. Let's begin. So what we are doing is actually it is an elimination reaction. So from this alcohol you expect the removal of this hydrogen and the OH from the same side to get you the alkene like this. So this is the alkene that we generate after the Chugev elimination. But since the OH and the hydrogen are not leaving by themselves, it needs some other group also. So that is going to be the xanthate. Xanthate is doing the elimination. So let's uh, quickly see. First of all, we start with the alcohol. It could be a 1 degree alcohol. It could be a 2 degree alcohol also as well as a 3 degree. But uh, the reaction is much better if it is a primary alcohol because the xanthate is a bulky group. Alright, so it would be very nicely formed on the primary alcohol and not give much steric hindrance. Now, let's see. So we are starting from carbon disulfide and a base. Now the base could be NaOH, it could be any other base which can remove the OH proton. And that gives you something like this. That gives you the alkoxide ion like this. Now that is further going to attack on carbon disulfide just like this step over here. So the alcohol is going to attack on the carbon of the carbon disulfide. One of the bond opens up on the sulfur. So there is an oxygen carbon double bond S and S minus. This is called the xanthate anion. Now further the xanthate anion in the second step is going to be uh, accepting the, <clears throat> the electrophile that is the methyl iodide. So it uh, does the simple SN2 attack, backside attack on methyl iodide and the sulfur gets methylated. Now this is your proper xanthate that you have. Now the xanthate is doing the elimination in the presence of heat. Now heating temperatures depend on different xanthates but most of the time they are like 150 or above. Okay. So yes, what happens in the presence of heat? Now we are going to write this molecule in a, you know, a changed conformation so that we can see the elimination. How is it happening? See, so from this carbon there is the oxygen leaving. So this oxygen is made to leave from this carbon. From the adjacent carbon there is going to be a proton leaving. Now how do we draw it? We draw the molecule in this manner so that we understand the stereochemistry. So that we understand how is it a syn elimination basically. Syn means same side. So it is same side elimination that is both of the electrophilic uh, that is the proton electrophilic group and the nucleophilic group are leaving from the same side okay so here it is now i have drawn it into the particular conformation so that we can see the elimination properly like this so here you have the alkene along with the alkene we have carbons we have cos basically just uh, just a replacement of oxygen with the sulfur in the carbon dioxide it's a simple molecule linear one and it is a gas further along with that you also have the elimination so guys if you directly want to see the elimination from here you will see something like this that uh, there is an o minus and there is a carbon double bond s and s m e this is what you will get but quickly it is going to break down quickly it is going to break down to give you the sulfide anion all right 
the sulfide anion is going to take away a proton and it becomes a thiol. So what do you get? You get carbon uh, COS basically it is monoxy sulfide and then you get the thiol. These are the byproducts that you get but ultimately you get the alkene. Now one very very important point about the synpyrolytic eliminations is that very important point we have to note that is the stereochemistry is syn which means that if the xanthate is for example present above the plane then it is going to look for a hydrogen that is also above the plane it does not do the elimination for example if we have a chiral center then it does not do elimination on a hydrogen that is below the plane so we have to keep it mind keep that in mind all right so this is uh, just giving you an example that for example if we had a chlorine like this it would end up right over here and the proton above would be removed all right so uh, basically this is a free molecule and there could be rotation so not much concern in this molecule we are going to see some cyclic molecules in which you will see syn elimination along with that we also have to remember that here you get the Hoffman product all right so i think that everyone knows what is a sadzef product that gives you the more substituted alkene hoffman product gives you the less substituted alkene so always in the pyrolytic eliminations you always always prefer the less substituted alkene because of this bulky xanthate ester that we are forming all right so guys now we are going to see some very good example this is our example number one so looks like it is a very big molecule and we have a big reaction to do but it is as easy as it as that so you look at this combination and as soon as you recognize this it is a very simple removal of the hydroxy group and a syn hydrogen so in this molecule we just have to spot out our uh, hydroxy group basically it is the alcohol and on the same side we have to check that on the same side are we having a proton yes we do so there is going to be a alkene right over here so ultimately the product is going to be like this very very simple also let's uh, do the mechanism so first of all the sodium hydride hydride is going to take away the oxygen uh, the alcoholic proton and further you get something like this you get a five member ring just talking about the ring on this side not drawing all of the substituents because we need not do that all right so there is so on so basically you have o minus now the o minus is going to attack on carbon disulfide in this manner yes and that disulfide now it becomes s minus a sulfide anion which is going to attack over methyl to give the like this to give the xanthate ester like this so it is your xanthate ester that we have already formed and yes one more thing even if you write it like this it's okay but whenever you are doing the elimination a better stereochemistry to write or let's say a better way of writing the same thing is to keep the sulfur and methyl away and to keep the double bond s towards the hydrogen so that you can write very quickly in this manner that this is going to be your xanthate all right elimination syn elimination that you get and finally you get the alkene system and along with that you get carbon oxygen and sulfur a linear molecule basically and a sulfide which can attack over a proton and get the thiol so a very simple reaction is to give elimination and hopefully you all have understood if not you can stop the video and do the example by yourself it would be very very clear all right so let's do another example guys example number two how easy does it look okay so what are you going to see again the same combination carbon disulfide methyl iodide and sodium hydride see the rest of the conditions are experimental conditions in which the reaction works actually so we don't need to be con uh, concerned about all of these thf is just an ether uh, working as a solvent okay now what else C. Carbon disulfide, methyl iodide and sodium hydride. Same combination, sodium hydride is going to take away the proton. It gives a O minus. 
O minus is going to let's say it's connected to R. O minus is once again going to attack on carbon disulfide and to give you the same intermediate which attacks on the methyl iodide to finally give you a xanthate ester like this. So once again you have the xanthate ester. Now in the next step what you have is dodecane and reflux. So basically you are having a hydrocarbon solvent so that we can provide higher temperatures without uh, disturbing the chemical bonds. So you need a very high temperature for the pyrolysis reactions to happen. Alright, for the pyrolysis reactions to happen, you have greater than 150 degrees centigrade, sometimes greater than 300 also. So basically, it's a very simple one. Now, what do you have guys? On the same side, you want to figure out a hydrogen. So definitely the xanthate group is not going to be converted onto this side because here we also we already see a uh, dioxy uh, you know how many member ring one two three four five and six all right a six member ring already present to cause the steric hindrance so the xanthate remains on the left hand side and it is going to take away a proton sorry from here yes from here because this is the adjacent carbon so here is how it happens very simple all right so xanthate elimination from this side to give you an alkene exo double bond so give you an exo carbon carbon double bond like this okay very simple xanthate elimination so you must have figured it out already that what we are doing is we are removing the oxygen and the hydrogen from the adjacent carbon but in a syn manner okay and how do we apply the concept of stereochemistry that we are going to see in the june 2013 paper of csi net exam so the question is the major product formed in the following reaction is you can try and stop the video do it by yourself and since we have already done it a lot of times so we can see directly sodium hydride is going to take away one of the protons and let me just write directly we are getting the xanthate all right so we are getting the xanthate in this manner xanthate ester very good now further in the next step you just have to 200 degree centigrade which is the pyrolysis or the heating step where the elimination takes place now the question is you have the oxygen below the plane all right so this is very very important to determine the product since it is a syn elimination it is a syn pyrolytic elimination we have to see by drawing the cyclohexane you know there is going to be the isopropyl group above the plane and onto this carbon one two and three for example i have the i have the actual group the group is axial now and there you have another methyl below the plane only so guys definitely if we see we need a hydrogen on the same side no we don't need a methyl on the same side we don't need it and yes this side the reaction is not happening the hydrogen is above it is not an anterior anti-elimination it is syn pyrolytic elimination so no ways we are going to remove this proton and give option number b that is completely irrelevant all right similarly we don't have a radical reaction of or a coupling reaction so this is not going to happen we are getting alkene formation all right so we are going to look from option a and c okay so c you don't have uh, the alkene at all it is just the deoxygenation and we are going to talk about the same reaction in the deoxygenation it's very very important to know how is the oxygen how is the oxygen from the hydroxy group getting removed that is another name reaction we are going to talk about very soon so yes ultimately what you are going to do is you are going to see that okay the oxygen is below and yes so if it is below and the methyl is also below onto the fourth carbon in this manner how are you going to remove the proton there is a proton above there is a proton below all right so that is going to be removed by the sulfur in this manner 
and there is one more thing that we prove once again that the Hoffman elimination most of the time is obtained in the Chugave elimination, right? Basically the Hoffman product. So this is our less substituted product as compared to as compared to option number B. It was more substituted product but because of stereochemical uh, hindrance or let's say because of the stereo is not correct. We are having an anti-periplanar stereo. We are not having a syn periplanar. So because of that stereo we can't form this product. So our answer has to be option number A. So once again it is a syn pyrolytic elimination. We will be doing more reactions on this category. Syn pyrolytic elimination and along with that we are also having the removal of a proton from the same direction and that gives you a Hoffman product. Alright, now we are going to move onwards and guys yes this is it for the session for this uh, little uh, name reaction session that we had that is the Chugave elimination hopefully everyone has understood and if you did do give it a big thumbs up also share it with your friends guys because free content has to be shared okay and also subscribe to the channel if you already have it and yes guys so if you also want to study for the CSI net you can join me on an academy as well a lot of free classes a lot of free mock tests and the analysis sessions are going on already along uh, in the free platform as well as the plus platform that is the paid platform just that we have two hour session over here along with doubt solving and everything okay so if you want to join up you can use the code jagriti s from the new session all right guys we'll see you very very soon till then bye keep studying